My name is Kakoma Francis from Chiwombo Mission District Central Zambia Conference. I am a Trust Services Officer. I have a story to tell of what precisely happened when I was serving at the uh, Mwami Adventist Mission Hospital in Chipata, Zambia. The, the couple was struck by lightning and uh, the family was so devastated because there was no one ready to take care of this young child who was uh, brought, uh, brought up by this couple. So as a church, they announced this in the church that uh, how do we help this uh, child? And then as a family, we decided to add an, uh, this child to, to our family. And as a family, as a couple, we decided to adopt uh, this child. And then we decided to take this child to school. And at present time, this child finished primary school, secondary school. The child now is at the, uh, the, the, the college where she, she is studying. Next day she will be doing her final year. What God has given us can help others that are in need. After some time, again, there was a, a situation which happened that uh, uh, the, the couple was, uh, was infected with HIV and AIDS. And the, both couples died without a will. And after their death, uh, it so happened that the, the relatives got uh, all, the, all the wealth for this couple and the child remained without any support. So, uh, since the Bible tells us that love thy neighbors, you love yourself, we decided to adopt this child again. This child is also in her first year at the college and we are giving the support and the, the child is doing fine in her studies. My brothers and sisters, it is so very much vital to prepare wills because when death strikes, there will be no problem to have suffering because these parents, if they had prepared these wills, they were not going to suffer. And now, today, I'm encouraging all of us that have not prepared wills that we can do that. And then if you want to be in touch with me, the number is plus 260-966-443387 Zambia, Africa. Writing wills, it will help your relative, it will help the community and the suffering will come to an end.